In the 21st Psalm, we hear, God sends his angels to guard over your ways. You see, this is the basis of our teaching on guardian angels, that angels surround God and then God sends them, that's what angel means, to come and protect each one of us, to inspire us. So here's five amazing things about our guardian angels. Number one, guardian angels sweat the small stuff. Your guardian angel's with you all the time, praying for you and helping to inspire you to make good decisions, whether it's small stuff like too much butter on your English muffin to big stuff and how you plan your life out. Number two, angels are great examples, actually. You see, Thomas Aquinas, St. Thomas Aquinas said that angels work together for the good of all humanity. And that reminds me, I should be working with others for the good of all humanity, not just thinking about me, but making sure that I'm thinking about others. Number three, better than texting. When I'm trying to get in touch with somebody and I can't reach him, I ask my guardian angel to ask their guardian angel to tell him to return my phone call. It works. Number four, which is actually a follow-up to number three, turn their receivers on. Our guardian angel is there, and especially if we open our hearts to hear him. But if somebody's not thinking about their guardian angel, that's why we need to ask our guardian angel not just to talk to their guardian angel, but ask me next time I talk to them to listen to their guardian angel. Number five, they're real. Those little God winks, the nudges that you get, they're our guardian angel sort of breaking into the noise. And there are no coincidences for people of faith, just providence. So listen up and trust those nudges because they are real and they're from your angel. Those are five Great things about guardian angels. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching our videos and we hope you liked them. If you did, push the like button and also subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and God bless.